Hello everyone and welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Allison from the blog A Glimpse Inside and this week we are going to do this super cute bike. It's kind of been sitting here in the garden in the yard for a while and it's become a planter. Um, this one is a little more difficult just because the lines are so skinny and small but um, it really shouldn't take us all that long to complete this one either. We will need um, about six, seven stamps, and uh, that's it. So let's get started. So this paper size is a four and a half by four and a half um, square, but I'm going to do um, do it on a four and a half by four um, piece of paper for the video. So. You can probably even uh, do it slightly smaller than that even. But, uh, you know, whatever works for you. So the stamps that we'll need is from the bike set. We're going to use the, the big bike right here in the front. From foliage set four, we're going to use, um, I'm going to use this. I think it's this um, stamp. Actually, no, I'm sorry, this stamp, but you can use either vine, and then we're going to do both of the, like, wispy little tall grasses from the original flower set, good old Daisy Bunch, we use it a lot, and then from the mini flower set, we're going to use this little group of flowers right here. For the colors, again, you can change whatever colors you want. I use Marby La Plume 2 markers, you can use Tombows or any other water-based markers, but... We're gonna, I'm going to use number 15 olive green, number 17 steel blue, number 43 brilliant yellow, number 55 iris purple, number 50 ultramarine, number 86 african violet, number uh, 105 light teal, and then good old number 45 sepia. So, to begin, we are going to start with our large bike, and we are just going to ink that straight up with sepia. We won't be combining colors this time. Um, Just because we don't want the bike to stand out too, too much here. Okay. So, make sure you know, everything's covered. Since these lines are so incredibly thin, we are first going to stamp this off on another piece of paper. Just to kind of get like any excess ink off. And then I'm going to just huff on it just to kind of reactivate the ink. And I'm going to go right in the center of my paper with my stamp. All right. So there is the bike. So now we are going to drag the colors out of the lines. So since, again, these lines are so tiny, you have to be super careful that we don't lose too many of them. Um, so I'm going to just be real careful and I'm going to go right where I think it's going to be like the darkest. So right here under the basket of those metal, the metal part of the bike, kind of right here over the fender where it comes over and then right under, this is like the underside of the fender and then same thing. So underneath this basket, it's going to be pretty dark. We're going to go right, right under the seat here. I'm going to kind of just drag a little bit on the bottom side of this, the, the chain. This is the rest of the fender that kind of comes down. And then I'm just going to kind of add a little bit of color to the basket here just to pull some out. And then I'm going to pull a little bit out of the tires. We're not pulling out a whole bunch of color on here. Um, to start and again these lines are so incredibly tiny that you have to be careful 
Okay. Oh, I am going to paint that whole little square in right there. Okay. So, next I'm painting my bike um, the light teal, number 105. So, I'm going to scribble some of that on my palette. <clears throat> Get some water. And then... I'm going to be very careful here. So I'm going to paint real thinly on the bottom, kind of like a line. And I'm going to try to leave a highlight. That's super light, so I'm not sure you can see it. But I'm going to try to leave a highlight on like the top part of the bike, the, of like the pipe of the bike. So under here, I'm not too concerned because it's going to be darker. And then that will be a little darker and kind of fade up. So I'm not going to paint all the way to the top of that. And then this little spot will be darker. So again, I'm just trying to make, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm just trying to make super thin lines here and leaving, let's see if I can bring this closer and leaving right at the top of that area white. So I'm going to make these darker because it was in the darkest spot. And then don't forget your little handlebar over here. Again, I'm going to try not to paint the whole thing. And then we have this fender. Here, come back with a little darker. So remember to start light and then go over it with your color a couple times and each pass your color will darken. Okay, so I'm going to leave the blue as it is right now. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of African Violet to my palette as well as um, my Ultramarine Blue. So for the Ultramarine, I'm kind of doing it as like accents on the bike. Um, so I'm going to do this little circle for that holds the pedal on. And the ultramarine. I'm going to do the seat. Again, try to remember your highlights. And I'm going to do our little handlebar covering. Part you grip, handlebar grip. In the ultramarine blue. So again, go over them um, to darken. Make sure you leave some highlights. We'll do our petal as well in this blue color. Why not, right? Okay. So while that dries, I'm going to come back with some African Violet and just kind of touch a little bit into the areas of our teal that would be pretty dark um, since it'd be more of like a shadow in these zones. So I'm just going to come back with this color and darken those up. It doesn't have to be a whole, whole bunch, just a little bit to kind of darken those areas. Okay, 
So I think our bike's looking pretty good here. Um, had a little too much upper and violet on this side, so I'm just going to come back with my teal just to kind of make it more of my blue color. And I'm going to leave it. As so. Okay. So before we do anything to our baskets, we are going to add our flowers to the basket. So I'm going to start with the daisy bunch. And I'm going to do the iris purple. And I'm only going to ink up a couple of them. I'm only going to do half the stamp. Um, I'm not going to do the whole thing. And then like normal, we're going to like stamp it a couple times in a circle. Make your basket as full as you'd like. Come down, you know, over the basket, come up here. However you would like to make your basket. And then I am going to go ahead and add water to those. Um, you can wait, but I'm just going to go ahead and add water. So again, dip your brush in water, pinch it off, and then just dab. Not like pouncing with the, the tip of your brush, more of the side of your brush. And you'll spread the color out. Okay, so next we're going to do our vine. Um, you can do this vine. There's also an... Um, the mini flower set there's also this super tiny almost like leaf if you want if you feel more, more comfortable you can also use that um little leaf but i'm actually just going to do like the tips of this vine and i'm just going to stamp it in kind of coming out from around the flowers down over the basket um, you don't have to even add these if you are just happy with just the way it is with just the flowers. Um, you know, feel free just to leave it like that. So, okay, so there are the vines, or the little leaves. Um, again, I'm just gonna touch them with water, so put, put your brush in water, pinch it off, and dab your leaves. The more water you add, the less of the image will be there. It'll be a lot more loose watercolor. Um, so it depends on what you like. You can add a lot more. You can add a little. It's up to you. Okay. So for this um, little basket, we are going to do these flowers. And I forgot to get some tape. So one minute. Okay. So we will need some post-it tape for this part. Um, we're just going to tear a tiny bit off. And we're going to cover right up over that um, little basket. I'm gonna leave kind of seeing the top line and I'm gonna try to line this section up with the end of the basket and that way I know exactly where my basket ends. And I'm gonna ink this one up in two colors. Uh, brilliant yellow. Yellow is my favorite color so it's always so happy and cheery and I tend to use it in a lot of my flower paintings because why not right and then the stems are olive green so I'm just going to start like right in the center uh, stamp it move over to the right and left and then that's it remove your paper and now you have some cute little flowers in your back basket um, so now for this dip your brush in water pinch it off and then soften those flowers Spread those out as much as you want. And then for the grass, or for the stems, I just kind of brush down towards the basket. Um, in this one, oh, I'm sorry, I just hit the camera. In this one, I did add a little leaf, like over here, mostly because I accidentally went past my basket a little bit. Um, so if you like that, you can always add some leaves, even kind of sticking out of the basket, but that's totally up to you. So, okay, so we're going to move on to our little um, baskets now, actually. So I'm going to put some sepia on my palette here. 
and I'm going to make right under the seat pretty dark and then I'm just going to kind of paint in. I'm not going to like go all the way to the edge here. I'm not going to go all the way to the top. Um, just adding like a touch of color. <clears throat> so, and then I'm going to actually take a little bit of my African violet and I'm going to go right on top of that. I had a little too much water in my brush. So I'm going to go right on top of that to kind of make a more grayish hue. And then for this front basket, I'm just going to use straight African violet. And I'm just going to kind of stipple around whatever I put into it. Um, you could leave it white if you'd like. But I, I'm just going to add this little color to it. So again, I'm just going to like... Almost like what you do when you are adding water to the flowers. So I'm just going to like stipple around it. I'm going to make it a little darker on the bottom, on the edge, and then that basket's done. So I'm going to come back over here again, make this really dark under that seat. And then add some more of the African violet. If you'd like, you can always mix these two colors because then they will make the for sure true gray. And then, you know, you can go over it. You can make this like a fun, bright color. I just went more of the neutral for that. Okay. So, if there's anything you want to add color to your bike, now would be a good time. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of now paint to the wheels. But I'm not going to go all the way down. I'm going to leave... And I'm not going to make them super dark either. I'm going to leave some of this <clears throat> um, still white because we have to add our tall grasses. And so that way you won't be like just stamping over um, your, your brown with your tall grasses. So that's all I'm going to do for the bike um, brown right now. So for the... Grasses, there are two angles. They go two ways, which kind of mirror each other. So whichever one you want to start first, I'm going to just pop that one on. I'm going to use the olive green again. This one faces the right, but when you stamp it, it goes left. So I'm just going to stamp it right over here, kind of by the tire. Maybe a little bit kind of on the intersect side of that tire. You can make it taller. You can add as much as you want. And then actually for... Let me stamp that off real fast. Um, then when I come to the back tires, I'm actually not going to do the whole stamp. I'm just going to do about half of it. Because since the back tire is a little farther away, um, I just want to make it look a little more proportioned for perspective. So... Okay, so that one's done. Now I'm going to add to the stamp that goes faces to the right. So again, for the front, I'm just going to stamp the whole thing. And this is just like the mini grasses that we normally, I normally use. You know, add as much, add as little as you like. Okay, I'm going to put one more up right there. Okay, so there are our grasses. And just like our other grasses that we normally do, you will take your brush and just drag the color up and out, like with the shape of the grass. And then I am going to add some of this to my palette. <clears throat> so I'm going to add kind of like a shadow under the bike. So I'm just going to go with the shape of the bike here. And paint in a line. I added way too much water to those. So if you can see, they're kind of... My water had my brush had too much water on it, so these are kind of fading out compared to these a little bit more, but it's okay. I still like it. 
but so we're going to add what will be kind of like a shadow through the grass here. You can add um, even more grass if you'd like, but this time I'm just going to, I'm not actually going to fully paint this painting in. Shocking, I know. Um, so we'll go a little darker here. And then I am going to take just a little bit of African Violet and brush it through the grass while it's wet. So then they kind of blend and that way it kind of darkens it up and it really gives it more of like a shadow. Okay. We are almost done. So next we will take our steel blue. And this will be for our sky. I'm not going to add all the sky. I'm just going to add some here and there. Just a little bit. We know this is outside because we have the grass. So we'll put some back here. Try not to get too close to those flowers so we don't accidentally get that color mixed in here. Okay. And the very last thing that I'm going to do, well, I guess there's two more things. I'm going to go back and darken my, my wheels just a little bit in places where they would be dark. So under the basket up here, under the fender, and then kind of coming down here. If you want, you can also do your kind of like a gray mix and add a little bit of a African violet to those just to give them more of a shadow. Okay, so now the last thing. I'm gonna take the thin tip of my sepia marker and I'm just going to kind of go underneath like the certain objects and just trace the lines. This is a time too that if you accidentally lost any of the lines, um, you can go back and color them in right now, redraw them. So anything that, you know, would be kind of darker from shadows and stuff. I'm just going to go through and re-darken those areas. So kind of under the basket, obviously would be darker. Under the seat, I'm going to retrace down here. I'm going to do that line. Where my fender meets the tire, that would be more of a shadow. stamp very well so let me kind of okay so so now it just kind of adds a little bit more dimension um to those lines I'm actually gonna let me trace those because that's kind of what's holding the basket up as well okay and then we will take a pencil and just your wheels have to have some sort of spokes right so we're just gonna do a quick pencil draw in, and that is it. Sign and date, and you have this super fun spring bike seen in a garden. Um, you know, this would be a great card, happy spring. Um, put it in a frame if you love bikes, it'd be fun like in a little cottage. Um, I actually have one in my craft room that I did a long time ago um, that sits up on a shelf. So um, it's just super cute. It's just a fun little painting. And I hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys have any suggestions of paintings that you would like me to uh, do, um, shoot me an email or um, 
message me on social media and I will see if I can um, accomplish those for you guys. So thanks for joining me. Stay tuned till next week. Have a good one. Bye.